Lopez. Chi-Chi Devane. Ladies, you are safe. You may leave the stage. The rest of you represent the high rollers and the low rollers of the week. Now it's time for the judges' critiques. Starting with Thorgy Thor. Your roller girl look, you're giving me 70s, and you have the big blonde pro. Not the most wildly inventive. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to your performance, which was so good. Your delivery, your choreography was meticulously done. Yes! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Great job. Next up, Derek Barry. I like this whole, like, Jeremy Scott for Katy Perry kind of thing. You are doing a great job with trying to give us something other than Britney. But I feel like you're coming out and these clothes are wearing you. With your performance, the personality of the character didn't really connect. It was too laid back. I'd love to see you show me that you do have soul. So what you need to get to work on is giving us your soul. <laughs> Thank you very much. Next up. Acid Betty. Your performance. I felt like you gave me the Sybil, multiple personality with a little bit of Carol Burnett going on. I think you were very convincing as a schizo. <laughs> this look tonight, it's getting kind of predictable. I'd love to see something way different. Another challenge, Michelle. I love challenges. <laughs> be you, but don't be you. Give us less, but more. <laughs> All right, next up, Bob the Drag Queen. I love this look. You did this Glamazon girl from Tron. Tin Man, I have to say, needs some lubricant. <laughs> now let's get to the performance. Everything about it was on point. The ad-libs were really, really good. Taraji is going to die. Lee Daniels is going to die. <laughs> next up, Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Cynthia. You have a great body with a shirt that's like a formal, with a formal necklace and formal earrings. Then you have like hooter shorts that don't fit at all. It's so discombobulated. The Empire scene, I don't know what you were saying, but I didn't care. <laughs> there were some nuances that were missed. What did you think watching yourself in the scene? I love it. <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, next, Robbie Turner. I do love the jumpsuit, but what's bothering me is all the silver accoutrements and then a gold necklace. I would lose the necklace. Um, when we were working on that scene, Rue was directing you to kind of get into the two different voices. I don't think you stuck with that. It was kind of like I didn't have a moment to like break and think of your notes before we moved on to another note and oh, also remember where the blocking for the camera was because I can't see very far. When we originally read it, I was Vanilla Wafer and it ch we did change it. Did that hurt you, um, you think? I think it did hurt me and I didn't speak up even though I was feeling it. And so for the betterment of the team, I was like- You can't allow yourself to be a victim and use the excuse of I was being nice. It's a competition. Well, thank you, ladies. I think we've heard enough. While you untuck backstage, the judges and I will deliberate. All right, now just between us squirrel friends, what do you think? Thorgy Thor. Her oh, chocolate chip cookie killed it. It's safe to say that uh, her chocolate chip cookie was baked in a loving oven. Mm. <laughs> it brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah. <laughs> That's a milkshake. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Derek no Barry. She goes from Britney Spears to Katy Perry. I'm still waiting to find Derek Barry. Mm -hmm. I thought the runway was really cute. No, but in the scene, Ginger no, no, no. Snap got lost to me. I've seen her perform as Britney Spears. She no, 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 no. Oh, it's hard. That's what she needed to do in this challenge. Acid Betty. I think she did look like a roller warrior, but I could probably do without the mohawk. I guess who loves you, Jacob? She looks like she's one French fresh for a happy meal straight away. <laughs> Bob, the drag what? Queen. It's not easy <gasps> what? to improv, but also stay focused on the scene. I am feeling her swag. She has charisma and it allows her to sell absolutely anything. This Tron jumpsuit is so basic, and I found myself going, oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> this is great. Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Bless hey, Jacob. Yeah. Do you want to go on YouTube and totally be a mod in my stream chat? Like she didn't commit to the <laughs> yeah. As sweet as a she moderator, is. do you not understand what that means? Got to do with it. All right, okay. I count it. Yes. Okay, so let me see. I got to pause. I'm too distracted. So as a moderator, obviously.
Um, you and Nikki, because not solely you, because you're a fool, um, will make sure that nobody's cussing or being horrible in the chat. And also, it was just really just, hey, cool beans, you have... Are you playing... <laughs> Y'all, he is playing the rip-up version of Minecraft on his laptop currently. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. There's so many rip-ups of Minecraft. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the game called? It's called Ravenfield. <laughs> it's professional. It's, yeah, it's professional. It's a full feature link. A film and a game? Wow. I think it's double the... Isn't that like Food Fight? Yeah. But better. Have you even watched Food Fight? Do you even know what you're responding to? I know it's worse than what I'm doing right now. No, yours is pretty worse. Although, I would say Skyrim in your case is much worse. You're a hoe. You're a hoe. Let me plug in. Why? Because I got charged. No. Yeah. No cursing. <laughs> no, no cursing in the chat, please. Yeah. See, oh. I'm doing a good job. Wow, you're doing really good. Wow. And you don't even have to open YouTube. I'm so wow. proud of you. Wow. Wow. Because let it be known here, folks, he doesn't follow me on anything. He's the worst boyfriend I ever. I follow you on everything. No, you don't. You can't lie to folks. It's not fair. Oh. Just like the news. Yeah. Ah, fake news. Damn, fake. Fake. Hey, one second. Move. Well, Move. No. Move. I want to be close. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you have messed up the entire system I had going in my bed couch. What have you done? done. What have you done? I've done the right thing. No, you haven't. Alright, y'all, sorry for not doing anything and just talking. Uh, I was making the move to bed couch. Who oh, are you talking? I'm talking, look. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Can everyone hear Jacob? Jacob, make a sound. Sound. <sighs> okay. Okay. You get to listen to RuPaul's Drag Race with me. Yay! Wow! Okay, everybody says they can hear you. Look! Hi. Wow, for the good first words. I think it's the best first words. Honestly. I mean, that's what most children start with. Just a simple hello. Because yeah. they hear everybody else doing it. And when you get older, you get followed by things that, you know, should really be cut out, like, can I have some money? <laughs> and uh, the natural response is no, obviously. Well, it depends. And then they go through that whole no stage where you're like, hey, can you go clean the, your room? And they're like, no. Nah. Not exactly. They don't say no. They just say no. Nah. Well, I'm very knowledgeable in children. Um, I used to be a child once. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, when I was in elementary school, um, I, want, I was like... Remember in Fair Oaks? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was when you bullied me because you ate horses, and I hated that. That's a loaded question. Anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop you right there. Okay, Jacob was, Jacob was the guy who ate horses, and his friend came over to me and was like, hey, so Jacob eats horses, okay, and it so made who, me cry. Okay, so whose fault was that? Was that me or my friend? I was being culturally aware. You're but you were like, ah, oh, but they were yummy. Do you know how important that was to me? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, in middle school, there's these two girls that sat by me at lunch. And here, this turns out that if I watch the show during this, then it's just going to be messy. So you're just going to listen to story time. Uh, oh, heck me. Okay. So in middle in elementary school, there's these two girls that I had to sit by at, during lunch, right? Do you... They used to make, like mess with me so much. They'd be like, oh, yeah, we totally live right by you. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, okay. And, um, they just, like, would make mean jokes to me a lot, right? And there's this one time that, so, like, you know how kids mimic things? Well, I thought, oh, it's really scary when my mom does the, I have had it up to here with you, you know, that thing <laughs> where they, they raise the hand up in the sky, Jacob? Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you, has your mom ever done that? You know, no, like, well, she I never, have, I've heard of it, but, like, I've never seen it in person. Like, where, like, like, where you're like, ah. I've had it up to here, here with, with your you. BS. With your BS, yeah. fool. And then, like, me, a small elementary schooler who has not grown at all, couldn't take it anymore from them. Which, they were like, they followed me into the line. They were like, buy me food. I was like, I don't have money, which was a lie. That was just because I didn't want to pay for their food. And they were like, ugh, you have money. Why aren't you giving us food? And I, like, turned to them. And my small little prebubescent voice, I was like, I've had it up to here with you. And I tried to raise my hand. And... 
I remember thinking that it would work and they would leave me alone and they just started laughing at me. And that is something that has lasted with me forever. I'm sorry. I don't think I could be an effective mom just because of that. Well, if your children keep asking you for money, it don't make sense. <laughs> it was just a story I was thinking about last night, actually. Nice. Wow. 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 How did it to here? Oh, Nikki asked a question. Uh, hey, Jacob, have you watched Jacob's Ladder? It's a good psych horror. Psych horror? No, no, no. I, I mean, it's I've never I haven't heard of it, so I can't really say if I'd like it or not. But I, I'm certain. I guess I, I guess I could check it out. Let me give it a search. A search. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nikki. We'll play RuPaul in a bit. I'm having a good time conversing with my loving boyfriend. Oh, I have heard of this. You have? What is that one? It's it's a it's a drama, horror, and a mystery. It almost looks like, like it's a thing for unfriended, like a bad I think, selfie. I think the consensus is it's better than unfriended. I, oh well, definitely. This is actually I've I have heard of this. This is like really good, from what I heard. Wow, Jacob. I, I could be hearing wrong, but take a look. Jacob's Ladder Two. See, even better than Jacob's Ladder One. It's Jacob's Ladder Two for less the price. But that's a, that's a staircase. It's a that's continu- literally a it's a con- No, it's a continuing ladder. Look. You know it's how an escalator. You're... But a ladder. No, it's an escalator. So, a ladder is... You get is that it. same exercise from walking down on the up escalator. Or up no, on the down escalator. No, you're literally going... That's the, uh, the, no, that's going up on a down escalator. You are a foolish piece of meat. Rawr. <laughs> Shut. Your mouth. No. Yes. No. Yes. You can't make me. What are you going to say? Right. I've had it up to here. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it up to here with your business. I cannot take this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I've known Jacob since. Ne- ne- never, because even though we were in the same school for a while, I never associated myself with him. Mm-hmm. And where did you go wrong? <laughs> Nowhere. I'm glad I never associated myself with him. Oh. You were the guy who ate horses in China. I'm sorry. It's what they do. You broke my heart. Uh, sorry for being cultured. Cultured? Well, you... You were the type of culture where you were like, yeah, I went to China once, so I know what the cuisine is like, and you're wrong. Like, you know, the pretentious culture. You know? Or, like... Okay, my main focus is don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun you of you. What I mean. You're a sweet, beautiful stop, lady. Stop, stop, stop. Stop being mean to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be mean to you. <laughs> I should probably start playing this again so we're not in silence. Both of us are working, which usually leads to calm, quiet times. So. Jacob, mm-hmm. if I turn on RuPaul's Drag Race, I want to take out the headphone from your ear because you are obviously reading um, your to-do list. Uh, wow. Wait, you're wanting to read Harry Potter? No, no, that's just an example. This is what I was talking to you about last night. Oh, like the versions of Focus? Yeah, yeah, mental models. Okay. Proud of you for finding those. Proud of you. Mm-hmm. Jacob. <laughs> Good gracious. Okay, I'm going to play RuPaul, and you can take your um, headphone out if you want, okay? No. You're right, because it is an amazing episode where they had to go down the runway in roller skates, and two of them fell on their asses. I don't want to watch that. It's, so it's over. It's over. No, they're proud of them. They aren't judging them. Really it. Oh, that's good. I love that jumpsuit. Look, it's I would wear denim. That I love it's it. a jumpsuit <laughs> denim. No. <laughs> a, is it a jumpsuit or a denim? Fashion sin. They go to Gap. <laughs> Jacob. 
Wow. What? I'm going to do something productive. I can't decide what I'm going to do. Ooh, big news. You can draw. Chinese scientists announced the creation of two identical monkeys, the first primates to be cloned using the SCNT technique. What's the SCNT technique? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. Oh my gosh. In genetics and developmental biology, somatic cell nuclear transfer is a laboratory strategy for creating a viable embryo from a body cell and an egg cell. That's what it is. What it is. I'm proud of you. That's really cool that they did that with monkeys. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, the yeah. world we live in, wow. The world we live in, making multiple clones. Or one step, <laughs> or one step closer. Oh, do you oh. remember? Do you remember that one show? Uh, 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 um, not the Johnny Bravo one. The one with the kid with the really fiery hair. No, I can't remember his name. <gasps> Jacob. You're safe, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Blaze? No, he was like um, Ben 10, but like had two sisters who were scientists. I don't know. Danny Phantom? No! <laughs> Danny Phantom! Hey, guess what? Another one. Today is the anniversary oh, no. of the day that Bill Clinton denied having sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky. Did happen today. Acid Betty. January 27, 1999. 8, 98. 99, 99, 99. Nah. Wait, what? Oh, are we asking questions? I wasn't doing a Q&A. Oh. Uh, oh, are we doing a Q&A? Are we doing a Q&A? That sounds so fun. You want to do a Q&A? I mean, I mean, I did that last time, but I guess we could do it. Um... Thank you, thank you, Nikki, by the way, for dispelling that conflict. Um, no, it's not a good idea to ignore your crush. Thank you, Johnny Tess, thank you. Okay, it's not a good idea to ignore your crush. Why, you ask? Because then it looks like you're the kind of person that doesn't care. <coughs> yeah, don't ignore your crush. You don't ignore your crush. If you like someone, put in the attention to show them that you care about them. Yeah. Be like, hey, dude. Or female friend that is more than just a friend, gal pal, in hopes. Hey, I think you are really cool, and also I will spend time with you to get to know you and be friendly towards you so you understand that I care about you. Ah. Oh. Good gracious. Oof. And that is it for the QA. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for your questions. Thank you for your questions. Um, oh, there's another question. How exciting. Wow. What's your favorite piece of art you've ever made? Probably Dandelion Field, because it's one of the only paintings I did with Jacob in it. So, oops. Aw. Yeah. That applies to me. My favorite is this piece I did in, in preschool, where oh, you yeah? put your hand on a piece of paper. Or, like, you dip your hand in, like, it was brown paint, and then you put it on a piece of paper, and then it's a turkey. I thought that was pretty creative. Honestly, I think that's your best work yet. I'm. You're probably right. I mean, just the emotion you put into it, you know, and the rawness oh. of like your hands touching the paper as a preschooler. Okay, Beautiful. That should be at a museum. I'm very proud of you. I think so. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Hand trickies. X D D D D. <laughs> X D X D X D. Amen. <laughs> um. If you have a question, please add me, or then I will not see it. What? Oh, I yes, I have more social media. Whoops. Um. Huh? Oh, okay. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I'm incredibly distracted. Is that book going? Yes, it is, but not really, just because I'm not animating the book, although there are other books, and I'm very not excited about that. Wait. <laughs> There's a thing that you can send money? You really want to send money to me? Hey, you should get Dogecoin. Hey, you should get Dogecoin. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Okay. No, I was talking about Johnny Test. I'm sorry, okay, guys. Okay. I'm not trying to unnotice anyone. I just... There's a lot of people in the chat, and they're all talking, and it means I, I can't talk and read, or then I will say things that I am reading, and then that just sounds very awkward. Like, for example, scribble, 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 scribble. Oh! Oh! Nikki! Okay, so my driving force and character designs usually is based off what I want to do with it. So... Um, recently I've been doing a lot of prompt character design because I find that the most interesting. Um, I did a bit where my friend named all of her D and D dice and I drew, um, a character design. I'm saying A because I wanted to do more, but the file got lost, which is upsetting. Um, so I did this like really cool bee girl and she had, um, this like really cool like outfit based off bees, but it wasn't bee wings and I was really happy with that. And then my colors obviously are based off of the D&D die. Or like if I was doing a prompt for like Aliu, like Aliu is from a cave. So she was actually drawn by somebody else. She was an adoptable that I really liked and I slowly turned into a different character. And although she still shares a slight color scheme and some old markings, um, I kind of changed her more to base off like cave colors along with the mix of her gym colors. Um, also Scarlet is just... A pirate girl and usually when you think of pirates you think of like their outfits which is like leather and like um tunics Bark. and I wanted to do a kind of Spanish pirate and I was looking at different cats so if I'm doing a cat character design I usually look up different types of cats based off region um because then it's more like then it kind of fits I suppose I like doing that and uh and then the recent ones with um the sphinxes I just really wanted to do this really grumpy fat sphinx as a uh, as a professor because I thought that'd be really funny. Um, and nobody has caught what his name means yet, and I'm pretty happy about that. What? No, don't. Mm. 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 Better. Um, is that is that what I hope that helps at all? Um, I did this one a uh, whole picture. I think you know about it, Nikki, of like helping someone come up with a character design based off just the name. Um, like, say, well, oh, gosh, I don't want to show it because I just brought up drama and I just really don't want to mess with that. Um, but, like, I really just kind of find at least a driving theme and then I go with it, I guess. So I usually do research sometimes or sometimes I just know what I want and I do it. Um, sometimes I don't know what my color scheme is going to be, but I know what the character is going to look like facial feature wise. And I just kind of scramble with colors to see what looks good. It's really just a different process for each kind of one, if that makes sense. I don't know. The characters I kind of want you to do are two gay cats. Ah, well, alas. I'm working on something. I'm maybe later. Um, um, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, it's, it's just splashing me up the... Um, um, have I ever had art block? Do you help yourself get out of it? Um, also, uh, of course, I'd love to give you an opinion. Um, art block is definitely something that I'm used to, I struggle with a lot, just because right now I'm in an art school, technically. Not an art school specifically, but I do art for the school that I'm in, for what my major is, which is animation. Um, the problem is I can't get in an art block, or then I get points off because it's all rushed. So I think I haven't actually really reached an art block with doing things because I've just been doing so much. Uh, but when it comes to animation, I was in a deep art block just because I was so busy and I was thinking to myself, oh, I can't do anything else. I just, I can't imagine myself doing more right now. Thanks, baby. Um, so it really just is, for me, it helped when I find something I'm passionate about in order to get back into it so that I can enjoy it based off the thing that I chose that I'm passionate about, you know? So, uh. Ooh, yeah, when you're starting digital art, um, it's it, there's going to be a bit of a learning curve, but otherwise you start getting it. If it helps, I did, uh, here, uh, the first thing I drew, actually, oh, I opened the wrong thing. Um, digitally, 
was on DA Miro. Uh, although, I mean, I'm not counting iPads because that was quite different than a computer. Um, but <laughs> the first thing I did is I uh, drew a picture and then I downloaded it onto um, DA Miro um, and I colored it. Let me see if I can find it all. Maybe if I shown you that? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, look, I even drew old pictures where I was trying to copy the spirit style, but I really failed yeah. at it. Oh, it's really good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not even there yet. Nerd. 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 Catch up, Jacob. Oh, boy. Come on. I also did ponies. That was fun. Oh, oh, do you remember Kevin O'Connor? Yeah. That was his uh, persona that I had, I drew for him. Nice. He didn't even pay me. Oh. He asked for commission and then he never paid me. Which is fine, but like, Kevin O'Connor. Alright, so this is what I drew on paper. And then I put it into DA Miro. <laughs> Look, it's called Love is Forever. Man, guys, this is how you do character design and pick your colors. Just, oof. Look at how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. Uh, lizard. Uh, lizard husband. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sophie, please don't spam. If you continue, I may have to. Uh, Nikki and I may have to do something. Um, there are a lot of people in the chat that are trying to talk, and there are a lot of people in the chat that are trying to do things. I know you're excited. Pl please calm down a little bit. <gasps> Dream. Okay. Dream, I'm going to add you as a mod, because I know you and I love you. <laughs> What's the difference between an Intuos and a normal graphics tablet? Oh, uh, So, my model... Oh gosh, I don't know much about tablets, but I do know that Intuos is just a name, much like Wacom. I believe, I believe! Take me with a grain of salt. Baby, I don't know. Um, so my tablet is called a Wacom Intuos Pro, um, and I had an Intuos beforehand. Um, and they are different models and have different setups, but they still do the same exact thing. Graphic tablets are the thing you draw on that aren't a screen. And my Intuos is still a graphic tablet. It's just a brand, I believe. It's just... So if you're asking a difference about brand, I really can't tell you. I don't really have much. Mod Squad. Mod, mod Squad. You know, you could be a mod. Merchant of Destruction. <laughs> Love you. Okay. If there are not many more questions, I may turn on RuPaul again and we make it. We may just listen. Oh, I'm glad that you're doing speed paints. I mean, ah, I'm glad. I don't know how to respond when it's like something that I've produced because I'm just happy that you're doing it because it's really fun to do things. I'm working on Jacob's Valentine's present. He's not allowed to look at it. He knows. I know. You know. I know better. You know better. I'll, <laughs> I'll win the game of die. The game of die? Yes. Okay. Just dies. Nothing yes. else. Okay. No thoughts. So. so how do you win in a game of die, you ask? Subjective. I don't think, I don't think Subjective. Asks. Okay, I'm going to turn on RuPaul again for a little bit so I can do some work. Um, I think it's really... Aww. Mm. Well, I guess, but like the thing is, it takes me a while to work. It takes a while to work on this. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Jacob, read this. Did you see it? Did you see it? Oh, I can't read that. What does it say? How does Jacob feel about his persona? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um... It, it it's done well. You gotta say more than just that. It's done well and it's done nicely by someone who's really good. It, it I I well I don't know I've never met a Lynx in person so I would oh, I don't know yeah. if I don't know if I could say that it fits. Oh, um, very well. I'm sure there's many Lynxes, um, with which many might take an issue. With representing me 
an mm. art form. I don't know, but I, from what, but it's it's done very well. So are you I worried about offending girls. the um, lynx population? It's, it's not that it's, I'm afraid of offending them. I just I just don't want to convince them with me. That uh, sounds good. I mean, that could be a, a bad thing depending on which lynx you ask. Now, here's a different question. How do you feel about being a furry? <laughs> he is smiling in stunned silence. Come on. It's like... Also, y'all, please don't ask for subs on this. Please don't. It's like, imagine you're out in the beach, mm -hmm. and it's in it's inside midnight, and so you wade out into the water, um, and you're swimming, and suddenly there's a low tide and you get caught, but you're swimming naked the whole time. Oh, no. So when you know when the tide goes low, everybody sees you. Oh. That's what it's like. So who sees you? Tell me more about the psychological trauma. It's not bad. That's what you're making it sound like. Um, it's, well, it's not. It's not childhood trauma. Mm. It's adulthood trauma. Ah, yes. Yeah. So, like a uh, midlife crisis. Um, more, more like if it's midlife, then that would mean I die when I'm forty. So, oh. I can only hope it's not midnight. Mid midnight. Midnight. I really hope it's not midnight, or then I'll die at forty. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I think time cube is the is bad business practice too. Shh, don't listen. Don't listen. I'm on Carson, your side. I'm shut on up. Your side. Carson, shut up. Carson? <laughs> okay, the reason I'm laughing. Okay, Jamie, one of our moderators just silenced Carson Kasser. <laughs> All right, so CK. That's Carson? Yes, that's Carson. I didn't know he was here. Okay, so Carson is um, one of our friends from high school and likes to be rowdy, and I'm really glad that he's being put in his place. Quite honestly. Damn. Yes, I enjoy anime, anyway, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? I commented surf on your video. Do you think you could do the drawing work tomorrow? Hey, Carson. What? No? Oof. Yeah, okay. Carson? Carson? Here's the thing about being in streams. Don't be a jerk. Love you, buddy. Hehe. <laughs> okay, Carson, you didn't even have the guts to like judo throw me like you said you were going to when I came home on Christmas break. So I don't think you really have much to talk about. Ain't that right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for the late response. I feel horrible. No, because it's just a delay in the microphone. Ah, oh, yeah, definitely. Um. Okay, oof, this is a bit. Okay, so advice on animation. Um, read books. Get references. It's not bad for you to get a reference. I mean, good gracious, how are you going to guess what it looks like for somebody to swing a bat if you don't even know what it looks like? Um, like, a lot of people don't get references. Please do it. Um, another thing, there's a like, there's a pose to pose way. Um, there's just know the different ways. Like, it's really cool, and you can start figuring it out yourself if you teach yourself. Like, that's the coolest thing about life, is that you can teach yourself so many things if you just put the effort into it. Um, so you've been dating this guy for almost a year and have no idea how to tell my parents. <laughs> Jacob, how do you tell your parents if you've been dating someone for a year and you've never told them? Well, you show them a graph. Uh -huh. And on the x-axis, you have time in years. Uh -huh. um, and the, on the y-axis, you have the amount of partners dated. And you know you you show this graph to your parents, and if you can see... Um, that for a duration of one, one on the x-axis, and one on the y-axis, that the area is going to be a one by one block mm -hmm. at the very end of the curve. And then you show this to your parents, and that's some solid, I think, reasoning to show them that they've been dating for a year. I, yeah. I feel like that's a pretty foolproof way to go about it. Pretty foolproof, I'd have to say. Um, although, I do feel that... Possibly not the best way, although very strong in the research. Very strong. very strong. Graphs are the only way to do anything. Um, me personally, I would have a graph saying, I'm sorry and I love you. And <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for dating um, 
uh, this horrible person that is my boyfriend, and then you disappear. Okay. Uh, no, uh, and real answers, just, just tell them, be like, hey, so I've been dating this guy, and, like, um, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know how far it would go, and I kind of like him, and I've been dating them. Like, just, just be honest and open, unless your parents are mean, and I hope not. I hope not. Um, thank you, Nikki. Please do not spam, everyone. I will try to get, uh, please don't spam. Um, yes, I play d and I have two characters! Oh! Do you want to tell them about Carson? I'd be more than happy to. <laughs> Carson will come later. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm checking through. Okay. Um, <laughs> Carson, stop it. He's asking for you to help him with calculus. I okay, d and Um, okay, Jacob talking. Okay, so we're in a new campaign that Jacob and I are both in. And that's really, really fun. <laughs> Jacob, talk about your character. Um, my character is named Mark Geckoberg. And he is a, he's a lizard folk. And the thing about this character, he's, a very, he's very introverted, but he has a kind of entrepreneurial yeah, mindset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, and he spends all the time by himself, kind of writing. He's like a scribe. He grew up a scribe, but his big, his big accomplishment before... You know, before this D and D campaign, is he wrote something called the Book of Faces. Um, and the Book of Faces is a way for all kinds of the lizard folk to connect and interact with each other without needing to be in the same place. It's a humongous innovation, and just you know, a, a book, a chapter book, each you know, for the page per person. And if you write an entry in your book, it appears in everyone else's book. Amazing. Yes. So he's. They, they are. He is worried though before he came that. Um, that there was a lizard election, and he's yeah. worried that you know some of the gnomes interfered in the lizard election. But you know that's the problem he's going to deal with later. Yeah, but it's okay. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Wait, what? I'm not even re What's happening? Yes. Okay. So, Mark Eggoberg. Oh, bless up. I'm so okay. So his inspiration was Mark Zuckerberg because we all know Mark Zuckerberg is a legit lizard. Um. Okay. Um. 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 um, um. Yeah, like a lizard Facebook, but it's not exclusively for lizards. That's just his first audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just very important to understand. Um. What's your important question, dear? Um. Soft feet, I really don't want you to get in trouble. Please be good, okay? Um, I make and record videos and put them into iMovie. But recently I took my first color speech off. Uh, okay. Um, don't have it 18 minutes long. Speed it up. Um, I've not used iMovie for such a long time. And I don't remember if it speeds up, but I'm pretty sure you can look up, hey, how do you speed up videos in iMovie? Um, this is just like the speed paints. It's called speed for on purpose because if you sit through um, something too too long, people start to get bored, I guess. Um, and like usually speed paints are to show your process also, but like like the thing is, it's like however big scale and like time put into it is usually your measure for how long the video is going to be. So if you took about an hour, then try to stick it around around five to six minutes ish like I don't really know have the math for it um but like just like speed it down a bit I like to speed it up like try to cut the time that's really the best bet I can give you and then it'll fit your time limit oh and this is me oh Jacob 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 I want you to draw you should draw something uh oh <laughs> you've been you've been prepping for this day. Jacob has oh. never drawn before, by the way. Just kidding. He's done good doodles. Okay. okay. Um, I've never used a Wacom before. He's never used a Wacom. Okay. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, you have an eraser currently. You're gonna okay. hit brush. Why is it not drawing? <laughs> because you're too far away. No, hit brush. There you go. Now go over here. And then you got to touch down to put to draw. There you go. See. You may need something a bit more flat. Also, someone said you should draw a limit graph after you finish this. Okay. So tell us what you're drawing. Tell us your process. I think we'll find out. 
Is it Gecko Bird? It's something more wholesome. <gasps> is it Kermit the Frog? No, is it Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> is it Jar Jar Binks? No! Jacob, please don't. Who is it? I'm, I'm, it's a work in progress. <sighs> is it your cat OC? Is it my what? Is it your cat OC? <laughs> That's funny. Your first zone. That's funny. Wow, it's looking really good. Thank you. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, this is really good so far. I'm I, really liking the nose and really eye structure. Is this? Oh, is this Mark Teagle? Peter Teagle. Peter Teagle. This is Peter Teagle. Who is he? It's so far. It's a head with wings. I'm loving it. Are you drawing a character or are you just doing something? Oh, you'll see. Are you... Okay, do you have a plan? Yes. Okay. Oh, soft feet. Hey, thanks, Mickey. Wow. Um, I'm loving this <laughs> bong. <laughs> that you've got composed here. That's not what this is. It's looking like a... <gasps> oh, he has feet. Baby, does his... Is his feet too big for his goddamn feet? Yeah, oh, I'm, yes. Oh, by the way, hello, Finch. We're letting Jacob draw with a whack him. It's turning out amazing. He has a little... Uh, he has a hat there next to it. Oh, what's his hat? Wizard hat. <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. He's looking really good. He is really good. He's a fancy old baby. Oh, okay. So people say eyes are the windows to the soul. How are you going to bring in like your viewers of your art? Like this. Well, I'll get to that in a second. I'll get so you the way you bring in your viewers mm -hmm. is like this. That <laughs> so then the eye wow. the eye naturally follows this line. Good composition. It goes here. It's yeah. Just, it's just a way. It's very subtle. So you know how usually I'm taking over. I'll change colors to show that it is me. I will go for a pink. So you know how people usually in compositions are like, oh, so you got to follow the flow of the body. Yeah. No. You're just going into that curve right there. I'm right. really enjoying this. This is very beautiful. So we can do a bit of calculus for this figure if you guys want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So consider the following. Okay, so obviously the Y has to be time. No. Yes. Okay. Because we're kind of turning stuff on its handle. Are you one of those? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And then, like, on this axis? Oh, my Twitter is at... Oh, let's go to it. What a twi what's your Twitter, Jacob? What's your Twitter? the real huh? fries. Oh. Everyone, if you want his Twitter handle. No! <laughs> You're not there! It's at the real price. Why did you write at? No, well, like, that's part of it, I guess. I don't, just look at the real price. There we go. Because you did those edgy spaces. Can't remember why I went. Mm. So here's his quality um, setup. Um, his only two followers are Ray. <laughs> I have more followers than that. I got 30 followers. Whoa. That's a lot. <laughs> wow. Well, you got a lot of very good followers. Very good. I got digital marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty big. Well, one. you got my vent Twitter. Wow. <gasps> and then you <laughs> Liam versus. Well, there you guys go. There's his Twitter handle. Oh, and also, hi, Finch. I didn't really get to say it, but hello. Um, hello, Finch, and hello, Miyuku. Hello, Abby. Carson, you don't deserve to be a mod, so I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> I've got a jar of jar. I've got a jar of jar. The flood is inside it. Okay. 
Okay, cool beans. I caught up in the chat. I'm very proud of myself. Wow. A super pet. Oh, I'm not monetizing a stream. Oof. People can purchase chat message. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're not. I'm not getting money from this. Not my end goal. Well, macaroon's not helping out. <gasps> you know what I forgot to do? Name the x-axis. That's very important. What have you done? Except for vote for CK for mod. Let's not. Carson, I'm literally going to silence you if you continue to be a jerk. You might be the hero we need. But, but you're not the hero we want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Amount of... Um, good boys. Good boys, yeah. Good quality boys. Yeah, it's very important. Very important. He is a good boy. Now, what color is this good boy? Because obviously we have to find the era, area under the curve. Oh, um, I'm going to say he's two colors. Uh-huh. He's uh, white and orange. <sighs> Jacob, I can't... <sighs> I love you. But when you choose white, it means I have to do a background that can show white. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh well. Oh well, who's this? Do you know what his name is? What is his name? His name is uh, Bart University. Wow, he is so strong. What a strong name. I bet his parents named him in order for him to be an insightful president. Oh, yes, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, his parents have really high hopes for him. Um, his parents were also um, the father of the Both inventor. of his parents were fathers. Both of his parents were fathers, yeah, of course. But um, in particular, his, his, well, his father was the inventor of Bitcoin, so he was left with quite a technological upbringing. So yeah, I'm not sure if he's president. is going to be something he's going to try to go for, but, you know... It's pretty fair that you can guess that he's going to be a, an important guy in the future. Oh, okay, so, try, uh, try to make the orange a bit more burned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just shut down Carson. That was quality. So you like these colors? No, I don't like those colors. You literally asked for those colors. Yeah, I know. He doesn't like those colors, but he was born with them, so he can't change it. I asked about you. Yeah, Bart University, his father was um, Bitcoin University. Bitcoin is named after, you know, his father. Ah, interesting. The university family is very prestigious in the forests of um, Nebraska. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Southern Nebraska, though. Oh, Southern Nebraska? Yeah, North, uh, North Nebraska is a whole different place. Oh, okay. It's That's really good to know. <laughs> You're going to offend a lot of Nebraskan people. Wow. I said the forest of Nebraska is a very, very solemn place. Very solemn? Very solemn. And the, and the universities, you know, are a very, you know, prestigious family there. They have a lot of power and... You know, they're in good standing. Ah, very fair. I'm pretty sure, you know, you know, they're in the Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. They are all active in the community. One of them, you know, they run the soup kitchen. They set it up. They're very, very, very good for the, for the South Nebraska community. Mm. Okay. Thank you for teaching me more about Nebraska. Yeah, I, yeah you're welcome. I just, I'm happy to Honestly, I want to know more about New California. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, California. But I really want to mo learn more about New California and their ways of life. It is uh, at the real fries. With uh, underscores. Underscores for the spaces. Um, sure, you can note me about projects, but I will probably view them with discretion because I am very busy. Oh no. How does one talk such ridiculousness so seriously? Um. Yeah. Answer that. Well. If you've ever been into, if you if you've been to college and the professor asks you to write an essay on something, it becomes the skill becomes apparent after a while. Oh, oh wow, <gasps> Jacob, look at the fan art. You got fan art of your character. Oh, nice. Oh, he's so beautiful. It's really good. Now I do have one critique though. 
he was all legs. This seems to have a body. Your boy obviously had all legs. You know, that could be him at different times. He might have lost his arms. He might have, but... But those could be prosthetic arms. His biggest thing was that he he was known for his legs. Right, but it's like... It's like, legs, legs, what's on the menu? (laughs) (laughs) Him. He's on the menu. Welcome. He's he's a literary figure. I mean, different depictions of him will have different things. He's canonized now. He goes beyond one simple drawing. We can't limit him to my artistic abilities. I don't know if I can draw him for what he is. I don't even think that's possible. He is an idea. He transcends art itself. This is honestly looking like the guy from Shape of Water. You mean water? Shape of Water. Do you not know what I mean? I know what you, I know what you mean. It's a film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That we still have not gotten to watch I'm very upset about. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It was only in a couple, like, theaters. It was in more than a couple. Really? No, it wasn't playing here. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. We couldn't find one. Really? Yeah, remember? Wow, that's shocking. How would they not play it? How dare them? Because it wasn't cool enough. Wow. Also, thanks, Nikki, for the fan art. It's really well done. Then go. <laughs> Get up and go. Go. Yeah. Get off the couch and go. No. Yes. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Jacob's hungry, but he doesn't feel like getting up. Is this the kind of eyes you're looking for? Uh, well, the question is, I'm honestly taking those, I'm those... taking a lot of inspiration from this character it's, right here. It's a really good character. It's such a good character. I heard of Jacob's drawing. See, and I guys, just showed you that. No, I know, but like, guys, I'm so thankful. Oh, <laughs> I have fans. <laughs> I have fans. Oh, he's happy. Thank you all. Go. Well, no, I'm. I actually am really invested in seeing how this is going to turn. Seeing out. how this guy is going to. Yeah. Turn? Well, maybe you can leave and come back and see how he turns out. Well, maybe. I love you. Love you too. Uh, uh, oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna help you. Push. You did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You got up. Wow. I thought your butt was glued down. Oh. I'm very proud of him. And now he's gone. Alright, let's fill the secrets. Hello, everyone. My name is Flash Samantha. And I'm 21 years old. <laughs> okay. CK is in timeout because he's a little jerk. And no, the character that he made is not his D&D guy. Well, I mean, Wait, we have a what's theater the here. Movie? And they said that it was going to be here, but it wasn't. Oh, Carson told you to get some milk steak. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's off timeout now, which is <laughs> kind of unfortunate. I wanted to go back on timeout. Milk steak. Milk steak. That's not a thing. Yes, you did. You asked, you told everyone that you're going to tell cryptic things about me, and I think that is room for leaving. <laughs> you good? Pork on it. Oh, nice. He has a horn. It's a horn hat. <laughs> it's a horn hat. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's his hat. Yeah, well, didn't you draw a hat? I did draw a hat. Oh, I'm sorry. What if it's like a fedora that has. A hat poking <sighs> through it. Because you know, that... he was kind of nervous about how big his hat was. And he was like, oh dear. Well, he's... I gotta hide it. It's not the size of his hat. It's how he handles it. Oh. That he has trouble with. He could wear a hat to various sizes, but the trouble is getting the hat. Any hat does fit squarely up on his head. 
That's just something you have trouble with being an odd shape in your head. That's fair. And oh, if it helps, Jacob is in, is um, lactose intolerant, and that's why um, Personal Carson information. is making rude rude jerks. Which is why he's going to go on timeout again if he tries to say anything cryptic. <gasps> Lucky! Hi! Oop, and I've only been in college for a year. What's on the menu? What's on the menu? What's on the menu? What's on the menu? Legs, legs. What's on the menu? Legs, legs. What's on the menu? Legs, legs. That's the truth. <laughs> I, I like how I like I like this. Man, look at him. I think he did a pretty good job. Honestly, I think we gotta come closer. Okay. Okay. Oh, so no, Jacob, no milk sticks. Thank you. You see, Carson. See, see, people care about Jacob Carson. Why are you so mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think Carson should go in timeout again. Shh, lucky shh. <laughs> shh. I'll check the note later so that I'm not showing it on stream, if that's okay. Legs, legs. What's on the menu? Legs, legs. What's on the menu? Legs, legs. What's on the menu? Legs. Aw, thank you, Carson. What's he saying? Says. Oh. ZK, I care about Jacob the most. Oh! You do not care about Jacob the most. Lies. This is scandalous. Well, I care about Carson. Okay, bye, Nikki. I'll see you later. Okay. Here in a second, we're gonna go back to watching. Um. Watching what? RuPaul's Drag you keep Race. Saying that, but we don't. Yeah, because people keep bringing up questions, but right now I'm very tired nope. and I need to get back to work. Okay, okay fine. What I do you know, want? No, I'm but it's going to qualify. They're, they're bringing very good and thoughtful and insightful They are questions. bringing out really thoughtful and insightful questions. Hey, baby? Mm hmm. What's in the menu? Legs. Legs. <laughs> no! Jacob! What? Look what this person said! Can't read that. Carson X Jacob. What does X mean? Shipping. No, it means multiplication. That's very true. That's all I know. What would you equal? Uh, well, I don't know. Let's see. Carson times Jacob. Well, I would hope it's going to take the bad qualities of both of us. So it's going to be a lactose intolerant, um, uh, uh, vegetarian version. And also Carson. colorblind. And colorblind. Yeah. Uh, takes his shirt off at every establishment. Which is what Carson does. He would go into IHOP and just be like, "Hey, what's on the menu?" Casual. Legs, legs," said Carson. But I accidentally said casual. And casual, casual. Oh, casual's here. Oh no, it's casual. Oh no. All right, so this is what's going to happen now that my friends that I know are here who know me not for this, we're going to go back to watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Because I don't want to listen to their foolishness. Jacob? Yes? I cannot I cannot do it again. Oh, that's okay. They're so mean. Cashel's a big friend. Cashel. Cashel, you cannot cuss in this chat. I will hide you. Gosh, I do love you. No! No. No. I forbid it. No. You cannot kill Jacob. Hey, baby. Who's Bob Face for? Who's Bob Face? Who's Bob Face? I don't know. Bob Face, speak up. Who are you? Beautiful man. Would Jacob LaQuay? Would Jacob. <sighs> We're gonna watch RuPaul now. Thank you all. <laughs> we'll come back for questions later. Taking a beautiful, beautiful break. Um, we're gonna watch RuPaul. Your macaroon was Maybe can you not coconutty enough. Oh, that's right. I got so much today. Aww. 
Derek Barry, you're a ginger snap. But I love joking with you. Crackle yeah. or pop. Oh. I'll, keep, I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Robbie Turner, I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. Derek Barry, you are safe. But <sighs> you better work, bitch. <laughs> Cynthia Lee, Robbie, now it's your choice. Do you want to lip sync in heels or wheels? Heels. Wheels. Two queens stand before me. Prior to tonight, you are asked to prepare a lip sync performance of Mesmerized by Faith Evans. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your Life. I deserve to be here. I'm not going. Good luck. And don't f it up. You ever heard about that thing? Oh, Star right now. Everybody is mesmerized about my cuckoo and my dance. You got me so caught up, baby, don't stay around. And don't, don't clap now. I can't even sleep. Why well, you got me weak? Why well, am I just going to find your picture? Put that thing on me. I mean, Am it's I better than the last time. I've broken a light on the runway. Okay, I'm going to say yes. One of them is roller skating. Look at that. Oh, here. I'll turn off the volume for this if you want to watch me fall. Is that okay? See, look, oh, sound's gone. You can't hear what I'm doing anymore. I'm not putting it in the air for you. Just kidding, I guess I mean. Do that again. Master. In your, put it. <laughs> you just kind of pull out. It fell in your ear. Okay. Turn it off. Robbie Turner. Oh, never mind. Shantae, you stay. <gasps> yeah, because she was roller skating. Thank and you. she won? Yeah, she got out. She got her. Well, she didn't win. She just Rico, didn't get Austin. told to leave. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can hear her. I knew it. Why? Spreading your cuckoo. <laughs> For watching us. <laughs> the government. I love you. Thank you. I can turn off the sound if you want. Thank I know there's a thing I heard where, like, with the Amazon product See, that is in a conical it. form, mm -hmm. not conical, oh, cylindrical form, mm -hmm. um, whose name I don't want to say. Time, uh, oh, yes. For, like, for trademark reasons. But that is a, uh, yeah, I don't want to get copyright, um, claim, <laughs> even though I'm kind of <laughs> watching a whole show right now. This is Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Has um, me some it's, uh, it's, uh, but that thing, and you know, you can speak to it and it'll speak back to you. That thing is something I'm afraid of purchasing because I'm afraid, you know, that when um, generally listening or quote unquote listening for what you're saying, that it'll be a regular conversation. Yeah. And use those for marketing purposes. Yeah, I mean, that's a big worry with anything technical that the government's using it. No, no, I didn't say the government. Amazon. Hey, well, I mean, the government aren't getting it from Amazon. We all know it. Maybe. I just gave you eyelashes. Aww. I didn't. <laughs> Baby, you look so cute in eyelashes. Right. You're gonna be animated with only eyelashes from now. Really yeah. sad. Deal? No. Okay. Don't give up. No. Isn't she the sweetest? I can't wait to see her. Again. Then people would ask you if you're a girl, and I can't stand then? that right now. Derek, let's not get crazy. <laughs> I don't want to do a Q and A in my video. So lovely, girl. That may have been the worst outfit in Drag Race history. Alyssa, you're safe. No jogging shorts she had on. Red stockings. Going out looking like Sofia Vergara's less fortunate cousin. The one she don't send money to. I think it was legendary that you freaking did yeah, your lip sync for your life with Skate. Bitch, you killed that. 
actually, I'm feeling shaken in this competition right now. The thing that I know I can do, acting, I fail at. I'm feeling really disappointed in myself. I think I got good critiques. Like, bye, Splash! I, I wait, bye, Lucky. I don't really have a soul. Michelle said you don't have soul. She didn't say you don't have a soul. And then I'll just start twerking. Come on, Barry Booty Challenge. Why do I not get more of this soul? stuff? Come on, Barry Booty. They don't want you to be... Girl, she ain't getting it. Betty has soul. This is Betty's character that she created. Do you realize Betty doesn't have a character? This is just Betty. Yeah, you really need to find, like, who you That's are. That's not Britney Spears. I still don't get a sense of who Derek Barry is as a drag queen, aside from the fact that he does Britney impersonations. He needs to find ways to take his drag much further. <laughs> that could be a big problem for Derek as we move forward. We're moving forward, honey. The train's pulling out of the station. Oops, I did it again. Hmm. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics and a cash prize of $100,000 with extra special guest he judges itches. Lucian Piani and Blondie, nice Chris Stein, and, and Debbie Aww. Harry. That's what I want. Beautiful. <laughs> First, 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 first. Ah, walk to the room first, first. Click! Oh. Yes. Oh. She created a hair hers. Hey, rock lobsters. Hey. One way or another, you've got to rock the cat. Wow, it's 7 30. Yeah, I'll probably have to end the stream soon. Girls, I know what boys like. Boys like me. <laughs> what? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Now, long before I became supermodel of the world, I was in a punk rock band called Wee Wee Pole. <laughs> oh, I was uh, inspired by bands are you like the Beaches Be Two. Why? Because, yeah. um, Williams, I, was, I heard it was interesting last time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, aren't the, like, um, isn't everybody coming over to do a movie night? Oh, well, I'm not sure, but, like, do you guys have a Discord? Yeah. Um, but have you heard of this song? What restaurant? I don't know what kind of like. I think it has Portuguese cuisine. That'd be interesting. You'll be writing lyrics. I think you have an online menu. Retro track. You could do that tomorrow if anything. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Do you hear it from? Um, I don't know. Ah, I guess this is, this is the only thing that's on the menu. Ugh! <laughs> Jacob, upon trying to get me to see the menu for the so-called restaurant, it tells me to look over at this so-called menu, and do you know what I see on his beautiful screen? Legs. Because that's all that's on the menu. That's right. Thanks, Jacob. I'm really proud of you. Oh my god, I hate you so much. I was so excited. Okay, in real talk, though, text the Discord. I love oh, my phone is here. You have the computer. The group that we're in with our friends. The third team just seems like leftovers. The in the backseat of a whatever car. Now, that? There are three different tracks punk, synth, and party. And I'll let you guys figure out who gets what. And on the runway, the category is Neon Realness. Yes. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman rock! Let's make a case. We want punk. Kim, Robbie, and I choose punk because we don't want to give the judges something they've seen before. We want to really rough it up. We want party. Well, I mean, we also want party. We also we want, want party. party. Okay, let's everyone in, in their group individually say what you want. I definitely, definitely want party. 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 And what do you guys want in your group? Party. I want party. Scene. Because it has soul, it, gonna it has rhythm. Hmm? And I feel oh, that's about this. Just ask if we're still doing it. They'll figure out this time themselves. General or plans? Are you, which one are you in? Yeah, that one. Not the big one. So we kind of like hit them against each other. I just don't want you guys to fight. Dinner? Question mark? No, we're asking if we're still doing movies. Movie? Question mark? Yeah, that's 
Don't think that we're going out to theater. Home movie? Jacob. You drive me crazy. Yeah, I love you. Uh, Sam? Derek and I, Dean's team players, decide we're gonna go with Sam. Jenna Sessions? Girl, we are arts. That's fine, you can be art. Art, 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 art. Because that there should be enough information there. That should be, yeah, you know, one word sentences. I hope that's not their song. But whatever. That's their song, that sucks. I got an idea. What we do is we incorporate shapes. Um, circle. Your triangle. Your square. That's cool. Mm -hmm. We can even make mm -hmm. the shapes. I think our costume mm -hmm. should be the shapes. That <laughs> shape. You know what I mean? Like cardboard cutout okay. geometric shapes. Uh, yeah, no. You should just be like, this is our hands. This is our hands. Why don't we yeah. really come out in a box? I'm not surprised Chi Chi came up with this concept. This is like a girl that shops at Michael's for every outfit that I'm she proud of that joke. So we've come on stage I know, I'm really proud of you. A square, Aww. a circle, and a Aww. triangle. To me, that would be more visually appealing. No. Nation's already gone home once. Derek just got clocked by the judges. And I sure in the hell don't want Michelle calling me basic again. We all need to step our game up. I don't want to help you guys, but the genre in which you guys are doing with synth they was totally all work. about geometrical shapes, oddness. Klaus Nolan was like, a, he was a walking triangle. You laughing at the geometrical shapes? I mean, we can be fashionistas this time. Yes, crack me up. If you could oh, polygons. Polygons. Ugh. Not a cardboard box on my Light body, wave. Then I want to see Maya. it. Maya. I'm with Chi Chi. Acid Betty, seriously, shut the f*** up. And you're the oldest one in the bunch. You should know better. Thanks, Betty. Coming up. Thorgy, is that not funny? No. Thorgy is driving me crazy. Did you not see yourself you all over the song? Ooh. <laughs> Right, absolutely. Yeah. This week's maxi challenge is to form new wave bands. We have to write lyrics and perform our track live. What if we just wrote something like just completely like off the cuff, like, I don't know, chicken wings? Yeah, it could be like our thing. That could be cute. The, the other team, like, I don't, Kimchi and Robbie as punk. When I look at Kimchi, Robbie and Naomi, I sure as hell don't see no punk. And then chicken wings. Maybe our song is like something hot and spicy. Actually, I guess sauce me. Louisiana's finest. Ooh. Barbecue. You're a punk group and you're gonna scream about chicken wings and dipping sauces. Let's go with chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about this is finger licking good. That group is gonna lose. <laughs> what? You're not even hearing these great one liners. Put, 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 put. All you're doing is watch it playing like craft games. I'm like really yeah. excited about this. Well, Chi Chi will help us sold this up too. Yeah. I feel like Chi Chi doesn't really want to be in our group. His energy is really off. I know y'all want to work mm. together, but I have like no look for neon couture. So could I like go over and cut out something real quick? Oh Lord. She wore her neon last week. That sucks. <sighs> you can be swear down, just don't be a nun. Chi Chi, how did that sound? Chi Chi. Were you listening or not? It was good. Yeah, I think that's cool. And if he doesn't like it, he can change it. Girl, it's a group challenge. Engage. Because that's what you do when you're on a team. Where did Chi Chi go? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm working on my runway outfit because <laughs> it's okay, run. And I'm gonna walk out in a neon bathing suit. So if it seems like I'm a little worried, I am. Oh, by the way, for the season, they got like this new thing called the Shade Tree, where they just gossip. I'm worth it. You talking? Chat. Right, let's keep oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't forget y'all. I didn't forget y'all. I still love y'all. I promise. Because we're singing right, right, about right, 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 right. It's quicker. Huh. You like to explain it. <laughs> when we go yes, it's just like because you don't have to convince us. And we just laugh because you're. You, I you're just like go, this. we go like this. Yeah, and you go. It's so much simpler. And you know, I thought about it, and we go like this. There's a four count, and a four count is so much better yeah. than a three you count. You're not the most time like, efficient. I'm very detail oriented and erotic. My process is like I sit there and examine every Boy, little and tiny thing. 
tear it all apart and put it back together. Thanks, babe. This is where the big black beans could come in. You see what I mean? No. Georgie, is that not funny? Come on, that is... Uh, no, I don't think it's funny. What? Ugh. What sets me off is this sound. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Me? <laughs> me being told I have to go to my 8 a.m. Uh. I really don't mean it that way. I have an ear for music, rhythm, and like beats. I'm a professionally trained violinist, violist, and cellist. So like, I have a very critical awesome. ear. Wow. Don't argue with me. Okay. Just wish you would trust me when I say like it's we just. Do, we do. Trust you. Did you not see yourself huh? just all Second over piece. the song? All right. Wait, now I know that I can't even. Make I don't know. Without being I mean, attacked. he's kind of in a TV right so now, so I don't think he's gonna respond. I don't know if I talk loud enough. She's not Maybe as much as she <laughs> I'm know. actually holding yeah. back like 94% of like. She'd be like, hey, process. yes, <laughs> I will I not really do it. This I have more time. Thank you She'd so be much. like, please oh, take then, me. So other groups okay, no. Me as a student. Wait, you're teaching her? She says she knows three instruments. That's a joke. They're looking for the easy chink in our armor. I love you. Thorgy. Legs? Hi. Legs. Hey. They keep changing my lyrics. My lyrics are so good, and they're like, let's change it to this, which is like idiotic. Dorji, stop talking to them. Jesus. I'm just. Who's this oh, extra? Whose team are you on? Like, are you working with the chicken wings or whatever their f names are? You guys are so fun. Like, that's hilarious. Team New York is in a small little boat, and it's got a hole, and it's sinking. I really think you're trying to, like, destroy the boat. Oh. <laughs> really not. Now you're being dramatic, Bob. Yeah, I just do you. circles. So dramatic. I didn't know I was with two cuckoo birds. Those bitches are going down. Coming up. Right now, it's just reading as, like, cheesy. I just don't know what you're saying. You don't understand what I'm saying? No. I think I may have just, like, cost us this challenge. <laughs> Hi. Okay, everyone's doing good. Ru hooked us up with a Lucian okay. rehearsal no. for the challenge game. Yeah. My team is up first. Let's Cashel. go ahead and see what you've been so far. He says he There's prays a lot of for death. On me for this challenge no. Because Cashel, the judges no. weren't crazy about my performance. There's more to life. There's a great video by Logan Paul. I feel like this character is going to show them that I do have soul. Here we go. Cue music. We are the girls. <laughs> just stop. That's that's good, but I feel like <laughs> that's it might be good. fun for you guys to maybe talk, sing some of it, because you're not like incredible vocalists. Um, Ooh. Okay, let's try that. Q track. We are the girls of geometry. Shapes and sizes is what we bring. Stop, stop for a second. You're still singing. Oh. And we were just talking about talking okay. talk. instead. It's we are the girls of No Cash, I'm not showing your edgy yeah, comment. Like a rap. Derek, you, you I would rather sing. I want to be a pop star of drag. And I feel like now that I'm given the singing challenge, this is my time to put everything out there. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Really want me? It's so plain to see. girls of the world. Yeah, you're yeah, getting what I'm not. saying. That's awesome. It's my advice that you two listen to Chi Chi. She really gets what I'm saying in terms of the arrangement. I really appreciate that you, like, already in one take did kind of what I was saying. So, really cool. Ugh. Well, hey, bum collectors, where that shit? Jacob. You know what? Castle said you have a twink of his dreams. Aw. Thank you. You're welcome. The biggest thing is to figure out that punk yeah. attitude. <laughs> yeah. So when you perform yeah. this, it's gonna have to be times ten of what you're doing right, right now. Okay. So I want to hear a little anger. I'm gonna have each of you give me like a loud, primal scream. Oh boy. Naomi, you first. Okay. Ah! You're smiling. You're so happy. Come on, anger. Can she? Ah! Robbie. Me. Somebody just snatched your wig, tripped you, and stole all your heels. Ah! It still feels like you're scared to like let it out. So we're trying to be punk and angsty, Castle said thanks, Dad. But it was not you're working. Welcome. And I'm feeling the pressure. 
I have been on the bottom of the game, so I need this win more than anybody else in this competition. Hello. How are you feeling song-wise, lyrics and everything? I love it anyway. That's good, that's good. What's wrong? We love it. <laughs> so wait, you're not all on the same page with we this. We are on the same we page. Are, we are, we are. Me. Honestly, right, Kessel? Feels like you're letting people eat stuff now. Churl. I'm just over it. I can't argue with Georgia anymore. I'm really, I'm happy. All right. Here we go. Cue track. What's that smell? We got something to sell. It's called street meat. Shop around with our champ BB. The only thing I would say is that it was very character and almost theatrical instead of cool 80s new wave vibe. All right, cue music. It's called street meat. Woo! No need to yell. All right, all right, stop, 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 stop. So this is what I'm talking about. You're saying it exactly the way you'd say it in a musical. What's that smell? That sort of doesn't have the cool B-52s vibe. Right now, it's just reading as like cheesy. And you're just like, ooh. I think the B-52s are, are kind of cheesy. The B-52s are just one example of a party band. I'm just trying to direct you to be more cool because that's what this era was about. That's wow. how they sound to me. What do you mean by more cool? I don't get that feel from our track. Am I alone in this? Uh, really? No one? Girl, you gotta listen. Open the ears, close the mouth. He's telling us to lay back. Welcome back. Me, so, hey, yeah, yeah. Woo, yeah. Honestly, I've only seen one season Lucian, baby. through fall all the way through. I cannot tell you. you don't understand what I'm Look it up. Saying. No. It's just about creating your own style. Like, even someone like. You Lord, can always watch the most recent one, her. which is season I eight. Can't with her. Okay, well. I'm just telling you, she has her style. When you think Lord, I think like apathetic teenager. Av ooh. I'm just trying to help you. I guess so I'll, I'll be Lord. It's very surprising that any queen would come for me because I'm gonna be judging these. Is this Ben Wyatt? I'm not saying to be Lord. I'm not. He saying sounds like Ben Wyatt. They can be some other sort of melody that is your thing. It's like you're not b 52 but how would B-52 say it? Is what it sounds like to me. Oh my God. You are embarrassing us in front of a judge. If we're in the bottom, Bob is going home, not me. I know I shouldn't be arguing with Lucian. I know I shouldn't be. But I'm already in argument mode because Thorgy has got me at the very edge of the cliff. Lucian is just an innocent bystander. I think I may have just like cost us this challenge. Possibly. Drag is not a cheap professor. It's really not. We all have to do what we gotta do for our coin. I don't know, you gotta do what you gotta do to live. Is uh -huh. enough to like live off of? We were always fortunate kids, but we didn't have a lot of money growing up. So when I got out of high school, I started getting all these loans yeah. and just started trying to find money. Yeah. And now I'm going through bankruptcy. Going. Wow. How much is your debt? It's like in the tens of thousands. I work two jobs, washing cars, and checking out people's groceries. Being broke is a hurting feeling. People say they don't have a dime to their name, but when you literally don't have a dime, you take an hey, audience Jessica? to the coin stars. This is not the like, kind of content to, to be watching right now. Like, I don't think these not. girls understand this. Not having the money to buy fabric and all that kind of stuff, I just use what I got. And that's where I find myself saying, oh, I'm here for the $100,000. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I want to be here for the experience, but in the back of my mind, I just feel like I, I need money. My iPad, I can hear it going off. Money all the time. What? That I can hear her exactly iPad going off every second I get. So I think so. No. For me no, to no let's look at Sheila. Oh no. Alexa TM. Immediately. Yeah, it's oh, always like the Alexa. last person running Alexa around TM. cut off. And yet you still win. Alexa, please don't hurt me. I've never won. Frida Kahlo got a special mention. Yeah, a special that mention. That was winning. Then I was good at the dance challenge, but didn't win, but I was top. And then we did the acting challenge, and I was like, they were like, yeah, you're really good, but yeah. I feel like I'm the Susan Lucci. <gasps> Come on, I'm Susan. the Susan Lucci of the season. I nailed the Empire acting challenge, and I was safe. Somebody asked if you're a giraffe with a human head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's true, y'all. He found it. So am I. I'm just not as loud and annoying. They're like, you were so wonderful. You floored us, and we couldn't stop watching you. Bob, you win. 
It seems like Bob and Thorgy are in a competition of their own, and somebody's feelings are inevitably going to get hurt. Coming up, we are three This is epic. Bless up, Earth again. I miss you guys too, but please do not be on this live stream. Please go do other things. Welcome to the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. Michelle Visage, are you ready to get punked? I am indeed. And Lucian Piani, did my girls rock your world? They did, Ru. And the co-founder of Blondie, Chris Stein. I hear you're a fan of the show. I watch everything religiously. <laughs> <laughs> and I must what? be dreaming. <laughs> it's the legendary <laughs> Debbie <laughs> Harry. So happy to be here. I'm always touched by your presence, dear. <laughs> this week, we challenged our queens to form new wave groups and perform original songs in front of a live audience. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best, best woman, woman win. win. Welcome to she Oh, Ladies. it's a like large audience taken. Oh. It's street meets. Oh, for the show? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What's that smell? We got something to sell. It's called street meets. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay, so this was a good live stream. I'm going to keep doing these on Saturdays or Sundays. Um, but we did this for about an hour and 30 minutes. I know people have lives to get to. Thank you for watching. Um, it's nice seeing you all. And just have a good old day, y'all. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any other questions or you just want to talk, you can always note me on DeviantArt, which is Bashamantha, or talk to me on Twitter. So be good, y'all, okay? Bye.